uh, good morning students having covered now the diagrammatic representation of data let's move on to the graphical part of it uh, the graphical presentation another attractive way to make as well as accurate way to make your data present effectively now before we take the first one today the line frequency graph just quickly let me put forward few points of differences between diagrams and the graphs uh importantly first thing to be noted a uh, diagram can be prepared on plain paper whereas graph generally and should be and is prepared on graph paper as such so to start with for a common that is important difference to be noted another which quick one which i can uh, recall immediately is that accuracy part is far more in graphs in comparison to a diagram naturally diagrams don't offer that much of accuracy pinpoint accuracy which you will find in graphical presentation and one more thing that certain values let's say for example median it can be found even through graphs which is not the case when diagrams are concerned i hope all of you are understanding it mathematically there can be some other differences also but let's stick to what economics as the need of the hour is and that's what it is now a frequency distribution like this one given to you wherein it's a ungrouped frequency distribution let's take a line frequency graph on x and y axis in a graph paper i am presenting it on a on the board as a plane but generally graph paper is required for graphical presentation taking the scale as such 5 10 15 20 25 right so these are what the marks on the other side you have the number of students on y axis 2 4 6 8 and 10 as our requirement is limited to this much so very quickly let's draw the lines as correspond to the marks assessed so number of students 6 representing 5 marks so i'll draw a line representing my simplest of graphical presentation marks for 10 students or 10 marks is by 4 students if i use the words correctly as such similarly 15 marks are scored by 10 students 20 by only 3 and 25 by 6 of the students so when our presentation graphical is on the in the form of a line rather than the rectangles which we have seen in the diagrammatic presentation such type of graph is called as line frequency graph right you can also present uh the things related to it as such uh on which axis we have taken what the separate information but that's how line frequency graph is i hope all of you understood it more graphs to come in the next video thank you.